cooking right here, I'm gonna cook my aromatic chicken bunga. So I've got one cup of oil, to that I added 10 cloves of garlic and three inches of ginger blitz. I've got one star anise flour. I've got five cloves in there. Um, and I've also got five cardamom pods in there, two bay leaves and approximately two inches um, sprig of cinnamon. What I'm doing is just browning everything off. Now what I did was I added my ginger garlic first. When they went golden, then I added my onions. And I'm gonna wait for these onions to be completely browned before I go on to the next step. I've got here one and a half kg of uh, chicken leg. Um, and thigh, which I got karai cut. Karai cut just simply means they're just gonna cut it a bit smaller for you. I don't like having whole pieces of chicken because um, I find the flavors don't go in and the masala doesn't go in, it just tastes a bit weird, so I don't like that. What I've done with these, I've washed them and I've just literally um, just given them a lemon mix to get rid of that chickeny smell. You can see they've got really dark brown now, not all of them, most of them. Before they burn, I need to go in with one, um, half a cup of tomatoes. Oh yeah, baby, me likes it. Now turn that gas down to a low. And just cook those tomatoes off until that oil releases. I just added one teaspoon of turmeric powder and two and a half tablespoons of coriander powder. Now I'm gonna add my um, red chili. I didn't add that now. I just wanted those um, spices to just cook off first. Now I'm gonna add my red chili. Okay, in I go. Gonna be a firecracker. There we go. As soon as I've added my uh, red chilies in, I'm gonna go in and add my chicken so they kind of fry off with all that masala in that oil. All in. In I go with a quarter cup of kasturi methi. Get that in there. Mixy, mixy time, people. There you go, all mixed with the fenugreek, sorry, kasturi methi. Now I've gone in with one, two, three tablespoons of yogurt. Can't do it with one hand. Right, be right back. Right, everything mixed in. So what you need to do now is put the lid on, put the heat onto a medium lowish. All you're gonna do from time to time is just give it a shake like that. That's all you're gonna do. And look at that, already looks amazing. Have I put salt in, guys? I haven't put salt in, have I? Okay, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons, uh, no, one and a half teaspoons of salt in now, because that's quite a lot of chicken. One and a half teaspoons of salt is gonna go in now. So we used a cup of oil, and I'm gonna remove half a cup of oil now. So we remained with half a cup, really. There we go. Removed approximately half a cup of oil. I don't feel like I'm gonna have some kind of anxiety oil attack now, because that was like swimming at the top of it and making me feel quite nauseous. Lid back on, shake it, shake it, baby, and just let that cook now. Already, it's looking gorgeous. There we go. The Mum keeps nicking my spoon and washing it. Yeah, Mum. Right now, there I go. The water from the chicken has started to evaporate, so now I need to add my garam masala, and I've got about half a teaspoon of garam masala that I'm going to throw in now. I'm also going to throw in cup of water because it is a boona people it ain't no fries it's a boona right in there and then piece of is I'm going to go in with half a chopped sweet chili put my lid on and cook a tank we go bubble, 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 bubble. I've had that lid on for about another five minutes. What I'm gonna do, because that chicken is almost done, I'm gonna remove the lid, because after all, this is a buna that we're having. If it was a salon, add some more water and just let it cook out. There, just gonna take the lid off and then wait for that water just to evaporate a little bit more. And while that water is evaporating, I'm just gonna boil it slightly. Boil it, boil it. On it, on it, on it, on it, on it. But see, got a nice thickness going on there. If I go any more than that, it's gonna become a curry, and I don't want that. I want bona. Okay. I want a nice gravy with that. Right. 
Oh my god, I've been cooking that for about half an hour now. That is ready. Go in my belly. Check the salt. Um, epic fail, I ran out of my curry. So I've only put a little bit of curry in and some spring onion because I've run out of my chilli balls as well. But yeah, that is it. Let me just bring it to the light a bit. Can you see the deepness of that colour? It's beautiful, man.